Welcome to the Tickets and Price Cards training video. Before we get into the detail, we will clarify the very important distinction between tickets and price cards. This will allow you to fully understand how these two things interact and how to best use them for your cinema. A ticket type is a specific kind of ticket that you sell, such as adult, child, or student. A price card is a bundle of ticket types. It is used to determine which ticket types are available for a show and what their prices are. One of the main functions of a price card is to enable easy and simple reporting. By having only a single ticket type that varies its price on price cards, it is easy to look at reports and tell how many of that ticket were sold. Let's get into the detail on tickets and ticket pricing. Hover over Tickets and click on Ticket Types. Then click on the ticket you wish to amend. This takes you to the Edit Ticket screen. Description denotes the name of the ticket. Label is the short name to the above description. Ticket class, choose the most suitable for that type of ticket you are creating. Default price, set the price you want to charge for the ticket. This must include a decimal point if you're charging for an amount that isn't flat. Sales tax, choose the appropriate tax rate from the drop-down box. There are three options here. Is child? Click if this ticket is for children. Display sequence. This value determines where the ticket is placed or ordered in the pause. The info line underneath will list all current items in use. Is package? Click this if, say, you're creating an adult 3D package and the ticket price includes ticket and the cost of the 3D glasses. Voucher identifier. The barcode prefix that identifies which ticket type of voucher matches. This is set up under Settings, Point of Sale. Sales via. Choose either or both options, depending on your specific needs. If you don't select the right options here, your ticket won't show up accordingly in the sales channel that you plan to sell the tickets from. You can change this at any time, but it is easier to set it up correctly from day one. Ticket type. Choose standard for everyday use, complimentary for complimentary use, or redemption. Redemptions are for use with promotions for your cinema to encourage more sales. They can be an item or not sold, depending on your requirements. Status. This gives you the option to choose whether or not the ticket type is active or inactive. You can change a ticket status at any point, but always consider the impact of doing so beforehand. Once you've made all the amendments necessary, then click on Save Changes to lock that ticket's new parameters into VZ permanently. Now that you've got ticket prices organized, you can think about loading a bunch of them together into a price card, which you will use to load against all those shows you want to sell to your valued customers. With price cards, not only can you set specific pricing, but you can customize it further by setting by time range, by day, by the exact tickets you require for that specific card. All combined, this gives you the complete freedom to adjust the price card to your cinema's needs. The first task is to change the various parameters of your price card to meet your cinema's needs exactly, adjusting all the attributes that will distinguish this price card from the others you'll create in due course. First, give your price card a name. Next, assign specific days for your price card or include every day. In the Time Range field, you can set a time period around the availability of just when this price card can be used. For example, Having a matinee rate before 5 p.m. is reasonably common in the industry. Change the status to what is required of that price card, active or non-active. Included tickets. This is where you determine all the various ticket types that will combine to create the price card. There is no limit on the number of ticket types you can include on any price card, but it sometimes pays not to make it too complicated, if you can avoid doing so. Click on Include for each ticket type you want to add to your price card. You can change the screen order by clicking on any of the Include headers to reorder the list according to how you see fit. Vouchers, Comps. Choose to show or to hide. Not included. As above, you have the ability to see all other ticket types not included on your price card. Select as appropriate for your own needs. As with all other changes, once you've got your desired pricing all completed, don't forget to click Save Changes to make it permanent, or Cancel to go back to where you started from, or you may even consider deleting that price card if you find that it no longer meets